Hey guys, welcome back. It's Clancy with 1013 Vintage where we're talking quality thrifting and everything fancy. And I think this is probably the last winter haul I am going to do. Every time I go into the thrift store and set my mind to start thrifting for spring, I see something for the winter. I'm trying. I'm working on myself. I'm talking to myself before I go into these thrift stores. So let me show you some of the things because you'll be surprised what I got today. Okay, so I really wanna go really quick because don't forget, I'm still using my tote, but this time it's of a lot of um, like home goods, soaps, candles. I've been, I found um, two, what are these? These are like essential oil soaps from Bath and Body Works. It's still, it's still wrapped up in its package. They were only $2. I mean, how can you not pick these things up when you see them? I saw two of them. There were actually three and I felt bad because the woman was standing next to me and I think she was looking at one. So I said, let me leave the last one for her because I know she's going to pick it up. But yeah, this one is Peach Bellini and this one is Champagne Toast. And these are new in store, um, but I don't know if they had a shipment of things you know, shipment of like um, discontinued soaps and they dropped them off at the thrift store. But yeah, these are nicely wrapped. They haven't even been opened. So I got those. I also got, look at this. I also got this for $2. This is um, some leather moisturizer. So with cleaning bags, you know, I actually have a leather chair that I have moisturized with leather cleaner. Um, I don't advise that to everyone. You wanna make sure you always test the corner. But look, this is um, by the brand Coach. It's leather moisturizer. And yeah, this is perfect for my leather purses and my leather small bags that I can um, just moisturize to keep them in good condition. I got that. Let me see what else I got. I got, you guys know I love a luxury perfumed candle. This is by Desert Tulip. Um, this is brand new and oh my God, I just love, oh, I love a brand new candle that hasn't been used. Um, I got a couple. I got this one and I actually got this one. I forgot the brand of this. Oh, it smells so good. What I did was I looked up the bottom and I said, oh, this, I think this is by Harold's, H-A-R-R-O-D, Harold's candle. No, I know the brand Harold's. This is not it. I need to take a let me, see. okay. This is by John Matuk. I'm gonna put this up on the screen. John Matuk candles, which I'm not familiar with, but apparently these are divine. Look at this. It has not been burned. Um, it has a very long wick, so you wanna be sure to just to cut it when you're starting to burn candles, but this is like their logo or his logo. Um, and yeah, this little candle is like $60. I looked them up and I'm like, oh, this is what I like when I find candles like this. And I also found another candle by White Barn Company. And this was only a dollar. Maybe it was a dollar because I can't open it. It's it's out of a tin can. Ooh, this smells so good. It smells so good. So yeah, you know, I don't know. 
Um, if folks are, comment below. Let me know if you guys like finding luxury perfumed candles um, at the thrift store. I used to go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls for like the Yankee Candle, discounted candles and candles by like D&W. But now I get all of my candles from the thrift store. There's no reason why I need to go and purchase a 40 or $30 candle when I can just go right to the thrift store and shuffle to see what's there. I also found, okay guys, so I bought a mystery bag. <laughs> I bought a mystery bag. It's not a mystery. They're all eyeglass cases, but um, this was only a dollar and I got four eyeglass cases and you know what? I never even opened them because the only one that really stood out was the Burberry one because you guys know I love Burberry. I love the print. I love the Nova check plaid. It's just classic. And I do have a pair of Burberry sunglasses. I, I need to probably invest in some Burberry frames since I love them so much, but let's see. I found inside this mystery bag is Coach, which I don't have any Coach frames, but that was in the bag. We have a very small, this looks like a very, very small box of Gucci. This is a Gucci bat thing. It has like the little Gucci things on it. And there's another larger case. Oh, I think they're probably the same size. Yeah, they're two Gucci eyeglass cases. And you know, I love using little cases like this for like my little um, samples that I bring on travel. I can just put a bunch of samples in here and just close the case up. And this is the Burberry. I just got it because it was a dollar. And I'm like, oh, I can probably put my reading glasses in here as well. So this was all of my little perfumed little cases. I know you guys probably can only imagine how stuffed <laughs> my little um, um, console table that I have all of these uh, soaps and candles, which I normally make bags for people. That's probably what I should do. Comment below, let me know if I should make a bag, a little gift bag that I can send out to my um, viewers and I can give you guys a gift of the things that I've been thrifting, a little thrift of my smell goods. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that, but comment below, let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in. I also thrifted this, and keep in mind, I'm still setting the mindset to thrift spring. I just can't help to find things that I know I would love for next winter. And this is actually made in Italy. It's from Neiman Marcus. It's by the brand Grinny, Grinny. But I mean, who doesn't love a nice red hat for four bucks? Look at that. You know, who doesn't love a brand that's made in Italy? Just love stuff that, look at this. I mean, it's a bucket hat. I don't know how to, look at this. I could just wear this with like a jean jacket. Love stuff like this. And guys, my last find. I really, really love the fact that I can find pieces for, um, and quality pieces, because that's the whole point of doing thrifting. You want to find quality um, 
items of good material. You know, I always encourage folks, you know, if you're gonna thrift, you wanna thrift really quality um, items, you know, such as like this cashmere sweater that I showed you guys a few weeks ago. And look, just, oh, it just feels good. It just feels like I just have like some loungewear on. Um, and it has all of the colored buttons here. Look at that. This is the kind of stuff that you just love. You know, they have the navy blue one, look at that. And it's just so nice to find things like this. You know, cashmere sweater, this is like made in Bloomingdale's. You know, roughly this would be over $100, you know, if you were in the store buying something like this. But, um, you know, you always wanna look for um, the pieces and the way things have been made. Let me show you my last item. I got this, this was for, you know, you guys could see a little bit, you can see a little bit, but I got this for $14 and I got this in the men's section. I don't know what made me just go through the men's aisle, but guys, I'm finding Sherlin's. Look at this. Look at this. How beautiful is this vintage, look at this, Sherlin coat made by, can you see it? Wool wrench. And it's, it's a men's coat, but you know what? I mean, let me just show you how it looks because I can just give you guys, give you guys a little, look at this, I can just, I don't know if this big slouchy coat style is for me. Um, I'm definitely gonna upload this because I know someone will really enjoy wearing this, but look at the craftsmanship on this. The only thing is that I saw, cause I always look for like holes. I always look underneath the arms. I did see something. Um, let me show you guys. Right here. You think I can get this closed up or, I mean, I can definitely just sell it as is because I can just show um, that that's the only tear. I don't know if someone can bring it closer and kind of just tighten it up right there. Look at this. This is divine. Look at this. Oh, and the back is just, I don't know. I don't even know how much re Sherling's retail at this point, but it's brown. Who doesn't love a brown? Who doesn't love a brown Sherling? Really nice, right? Guys, if you enjoyed this video, click like, share, tell a friend to join our community. I love showing you guys um, pieces that I've been finding. I'm actually gonna upload this today. Um, if anyone's interested in this extra large Coco Brown style Sherling made by Wool Wrench, visit 1013vintage.com. I'm looking to see more of you because I'm going to start, well, no, I'm not gonna say start. I'm going to make the attempt to try to upload twice a week since folks are asking me to upload more and to offer more tips on collecting vintage pieces and uh, secondhand shopping. So until then guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.